Good evening. Welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions. Okay, guys, I have an update and some things to go over. Also, I am opening or I'm essentially giving people the floor if you have important information about this that you think is relevant, that you want to send to me. I will do a video going over it over the next couple of weeks because this is a fluid situation over the next 30 days with SNS1. And I have a vested interest at this point because now my position is uh, just in the U.S. dollar denominated value is 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 enough to um, cause me to stay with my eyes on this to see what happens. OK, so first. I want to go over this from Anvil and to the subscriber that um, let me know that this was the situation. Thank you. I pinned your comment um, in my last SNS one post in my community tab. It is the subscribers comment that I pinned that, that I'm referring to. If you want to go check that out. So this is from Anvil on Twitter. Exciting ICP SNS um, news today. A whale came into the SNS one discord server and claimed that they have obtained enough tokens to fully control SNS one. If this is true, it will basically turn it into from a DAO into a currency. As far as we know, fresh SNS1 neurons cannot vote in the first 30 days after being staked. Once, if not already, they fully control the DAO. This will mean SNS1 treasury equals you know, 2,900 roughly and roughly 3,000 ICP will be theirs. This means that whoever owns SNS1 eligible to vote neurons right now, which I do not, will be economically interested in burning the whole treasury before it gets owned. Interesting times. So what he's saying right here is that if somebody did in fact is taking essentially control over SNS1, um, that if, if, this is a big if, okay, if that they are not going to have full control for 30 days, that over the next 30 days that it would make sense for the SNS1 DAO to vote to burn the treasury. So whenever this individual takes over SNS1 DAO officially, assuming that hasn't already happened, they would have full control over the treasury. All right. So <laughs> there's a there's a lot to there's a lot to go into here. Okay. All right. So first of all, you know, let's just this may be the same person. I don't know. OK, I'm going to assume that this 750 SNS one that staked for 100 years with 1600 voting power. I'm going to assume that that's the same person, although it may not be. All right. But what it looks like is happening right now is this, this is a buyout. <laughs> this is a buyout more or less. OK, that's exactly how it looks right now. Now, I saw some people on Twitter saying that not a good thing. It feels like they're on their way to failure before he empties the Treasury. And I, I, I have to go back into the math on what this individual said, but OK, so I understand this position and that very well may be the case. But so right now, it, it, if in fact that is the intention, if the intention is just to gain access to the Treasury so they can dump it, then it would make sense that they already have full control over the Dow. Because why would – let's assume that this is true, that this is 100 – I'm not suggesting that Anvil's lying or anything like that. Um, I'm, all I'm saying is that he got secondhand information from somebody else. So let, let, let's assume that the intention was to just dump the treasure and that this individual does not have full control over the DAO right now. Why would you come out and say anything and give the DAO the opportunity – to burn the treasury before you get access to it. So, you know, it, it's if the goal is to burn the treasury, if this individual's goal is to burn the treasury, not Anvil's, but whoever he's referring to, um, then he probably already has control, enough control over the DAO to pretty much control the voting for the DAO. He has that much voting power. Um, because why would you come out and say that and then tip people off and give them the opportunity to burn what you could easily own within 30 days if you just kept quiet, right? So there's a lot of questions here, guys. And, and honestly, like I have to get my head around this. What I will say is that if you're up three or four X or whatever it may be, if this is too much for you or you're like, I don't know, this is kind of looking sketch, whatever, you know, I, I don't know what's going on here. Do what's best for you. OK. All right. And the last I checked, um, the the buyout price 
had been moved up to about 200, 200 ICP for SNS1. Yep, uh, it's up to 200 at this point in time. So it looks like the, the, the they're just upping the ante and, I mean, more or less buying people out. <laughs> That's what it looks like. You know, maybe there's something else going on. And, you know, it, it's what would be the incentive for someone to try to essentially destroy SNS1? You know, I mean, if you think about 750 SNS one guys at $200 a pop, we're talking 150 K locked for a hundred years. All that's going to get you, you are, and that's at 200 per SNS one. All right. Now it's at like 550. So this is 150 K at $200 per SNS one locked for a hundred years. So, but you see that it essentially doubles the voting power, or a little bit more than doubles the voting power, staking for a hundred years. And there was only roughly seven thousand SNS one available. You know, some were distributed to certain people. Um, a lot were airdropped. Some were just sold. But three thousand, there was ten thousand total tokens, and three thousand roughly were designed for the treasury. All right. Um, so staking for like a year or a shorter time period, it's more like one to one voting power, whereas staking for 100 years, you get a little bit more than two to one voting power. It looks like just based on looking at this. All right. So this looks like a buyout to me. And, you know, I, uh, I, I knew something was off here. I knew something. And I'm not trying to say anything is like nefarious, guys. I don't even care to get into the, the, the debate about if this is good or if this is bad. This is just the way the world works, man. And you want to know something, guys? I had – I wanted so badly to make a video saying, guys, this is, a hundred, this is like a $1.5 million market cap. Here's how, you know – here's how many tokens are available, you know, because I have a lot of ICP OGs on this channel who have very large ICP bags. And, and I was literally going to say, guys, we could take 50 to a hundred people and we could probably control this down. Like almost completely control, essentially doing exactly what this person is doing. And I think the timing here is very interesting guys, because, you know, SNS one has been around for what, five or six months since the beginning of the year. And I just started posting about it a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and specifically talking about the staking for 100 years and the consolidation of voting power. And, you know, and I was aggressively accumulating on my end. Uh, I'm not going to openly say exactly how many SNS1 I have. I've told some of you. But, you know, the, the timing is just very interesting. And, you know, but I can't come out and say, hey, guys, you know, we could – we could essentially take control of this down because if I come out and say that things that I say on this channel are heard elsewhere, guys. And I don't care if you believe that or not. I know that to be true. So I'm in a little bit of a predicament sometimes when it comes to covering certain things. All right. The way that I would really want to, which is why, in my opinion, there is a need for private closed groups. Always ask questions, guys. Always ask questions. Um, you know, it, it's my general curious nature was the only reason that I kept looking into this. And there was just a lot of questions that didn't make sense to me. And so I just kept digging and I was like, mm, this, this looks this looks this is intriguing me enough to invest a decent amount, which I did. Um, so always ask questions when certain things don't make sense. I don't think staking for 100 years was put in by accident because you get more than double the voting power. So I'm sorry. I just don't think that was by accident. Um, just my opinion. I could be 100% wrong. I get other things wrong. Entirely possible I'm wrong about this. So if you stake for 100 years, guys, you want voting power, period, because that's all that you're going to get. All right? You will be dead and gone by the time that 100 years is up. Make your own decisions, guys. If you're up three or four X, do what makes sense for you, okay? Do what makes sense for you. If you've had a good turn on this, you know, and you can essentially accumulate more or increase your ICP position by just, you know, getting in and getting out, do whatever makes sense for you, all right? There's a lot of questions with everything that's going on with this. There's a lot of um, things are more uncertain than they were two days ago, okay? Um, but I have more looking into to do. There's always more to the story, guys. 
hundred percent of the time almost. And what would be the incentive for someone to try to destroy S and S one? They probably have, you know, that, that, that's roughly 150 K lock for a hundred years. So maybe they're just going through all this trouble to just gain access to the treasury, to own the treasury, to essentially, you know, just, I guess, dump the treasury or spend the treasury, whatever it may be. Uh, I don't know. It, it just seems like going through a whole lot for it. I have to do the numbers and look at the incentives here. And it's not entirely clear how many, how many of these SNS one are controlled by this certain individual and so there's just a lot of different variables that would that I would need to know to be able to accurately assess this at this point in time. So I have a lot more looking into to do. But what I will say in the meantime is, is, you know, do what's best for you guys. OK, do what's best for you. Um, that's really all I have. I just wanted to give this update. Uh, if you have more information um, that is relevant feel free to let me know. Uh, I am not an SNS1 voter. I don't have my SNS1 staked. I don't really plan to stake my SNS1. Um, and that's all there is to it. Because at this point in time, the, the, what I had in mind is somebody beat me to the punch, okay? Somebody with much deeper pockets beat me to the punch. And I was just gonna try to do it as a group. Um, but I, there was no way that I could say that openly um, without something happening before there was a chance to organize. So, you know, that's just that's just the game, guys. That's just the game. But who knows where this goes from here? And if you are an SNS1 holder, it might be worth kind of keeping tabs on this. And if you have any relevant information, let me know. I'm happy to share it on the channel. I'll refer to your channel or, or whatever uh, needs to happen. And uh, to the subscriber that originally pointed this out to me, thank you very much. His uh, comment is pinned in the uh, community tab. That's all I have for this video. Not financial advice. Do your own research. Take care. Have a good night. I'll see you in the next video.